Hey, everybody. Today we are here with KJ for a Galactic Center diary entry. He is going to be sharing his experience with the Sun conjunct the GC. And I'm also looking at this chart over here on my computer screen. <laughs> and um, the North Node is also very close to the GC as well. Um, but the Sun is like, it's very, very close. So he's going to be sharing his experience um, with that and with some other things going on. You want to say hey? To What's everybody? up, everybody? What's up, everybody? How you doing? <laughs> and thank you so much for being here, wanting to do this. Thank you for having me. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, so I'll start. I'm also I'm gonna be looking at a lot of different directions for people watching. So I'm you don't think I'm just like fucking off, not <laughs> I'm looking at the questions that I <laughs> that I have for for him. Um, okay, so you have the, um, you have your son at 28, it's 2820 Sagittarius, conjunct the GC. <clears throat> Do you mind if I post the chart to the video? Sure, the chart? go ahead, yeah, okay. go ahead. Okay, then it will be linked, everybody, you can take a look at it if you want to look at it after you watch this or, or whatever. Okay, so you have it in the sixth house, um, so there is like, do you feel like you get divine inspiration? in daily life with the sun in the sixth house. It seems like you should definitely be doing some kind of work that allows this to flow through you. Um, any kind of, you know, like messages or downloads that you might get. And I do feel like you probably would get them just in random daily life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, probably do need to be like, something needs to be done with them and daily life, if you will. Um, I also have questions about health issues. Um, specifically because of it being in the sixth house, sixth house dealing with, with things like health. Um, not that that has to be the case, but I am curious if there's anything kind of different or has ever been anything different going on in, in, in relation to that. And um, does it feel like, if, <laughs> does it feel like there's any fragmentation, warping, distortion, et cetera, with the sun conjunct the GC? It seems like it seems like if there was, this might be more private to you with Jupiter, planetary ruler of Sagittarius in the fourth house. Just for everybody watching, Jupiter is in the fourth house in Libra and the GC and Sagittarius will flow into Jupiter in the fourth house in, in Libra. Um, and, I, and it also seems like something, if that were the case, something um, that you probably try to balance the hell out of. So I guess I will let you answer at this point <laughs> okay now when i start talking sometimes i kind of zone out a little bit so i'm okay with you bringing me back i don't have a problem with that um, <laughs> i like talking about myself oh <laughs> uh, so um all right uh with the six house sun being in the six house what you said is correct um daily uh in my daily life i have to do something that's uh inspirational i guess um, I have to do something to which though I have to, uh, what I find myself doing is I'm always blogging, like on Facebook, uh, I call it channeling, I guess, uh, ah. just bringing inspiration, typing these long, uh, well thought out, I guess, whatever comes through to me, because sometimes it can be my anger, but I have this thing, and I think this is what the Galactic Center does to me. What I'm learning is that when I get really angry, sometimes that's like the Galactic Center kind of communicating to me that I transcribe it to. A lot of people don't know when I'm putting all this inspirational stuff out there. They don't understand that I'm angry when I'm doing it, but <laughs> it's my way to kind of find inspiration and also just to channel what's going on, what's going on with me and um, just to reach people more also. Um, Cause I feel like, um, when I have something going on, I still want to find, I guess, the light in it. I guess that's the Sagittarius in me. So um, I can say that that's uh, true for me as well. Would it be in the uh, sixth house? I watched I watched the diaries, all of them, that you posted. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I, think, I think that's the reason for it being in the sixth house. Also, it kind of carries that Virgo quality to it that, <laughs> I, you know, just uh, kind of trying to understand things down to the the smallest grain and um you had one girl on that also had uh her son can jump the galactic center in the sixth house um to me I, I agree with her with the healer 
she mentioned something about it being associated with the healer quality. And I'm assuming that she's a cancer rising like me. I feel like that's what is, I guess that's what's happening with me. Um, even in matters of, go ahead, I'm sorry. Oh, no, I was going to say could, could, could be. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, well, I feel like that's what's going on with me. Like it matters of being healthy. Uh, was it necessarily health conscious? Um, how I actually got into health was um, I started getting into spirituality. I got into astral projection. Wasn't thinking about waking up or none of that shit. I didn't care. Um, but I started learning that a lot of people started talking about how to easily do these things is to have a high bar- vibration. And that's when they talked about, okay, having a clean diet. And so I got into um, juicing because I followed somebody that was uh, big into uh, metaphysics and spirituality and they started juicing to get a high vibration, have more energy. So I started doing that and then not realizing that I kind of was like, gaining a lot, a lot of knowledge in matters of health and nutrition, started working at a juice bar and it just started happening automatically without me intentionally going in that direction. So then when I started having health problems, because I think also I read about this as well, that uh, I don't know if this is true or not, but they said people that have sun in the sixth house sometimes can, what do they call it? Psychosomatic um, <laughs> illnesses, uh, uh, something yeah. like that. So, Like where, where are you, where are you talking about like where you think about something so mm-hmm. much that you kind of bring it to you? Yes, yes, yes. So I, I have I, heard that before too. About yeah. So I think um, that's uh, definitely me. <laughs> and so <laughs> I would go and find out different things to kind of help um, just balance a couple of things. I don't have bad health problems, but I do have, uh, I, I think I do have food sensitivities. I'm sensitive okay. as hell. So yeah, um, that's, I think the health thing is big with sun in the sixth house, but um, with me having my North Node there, it's kind of, I'm getting educated in matters of health. Even now, uh, I didn't think about it later on. I sell CMOS, gel, CMOS gels. And so, um, ah. I don't know, seven to six times, I guess you'll be led to that stuff without even trying. So, yeah. yeah. Like well, and, well, and also you're like, you know, you've got the, you've got the GC there, right? So it's like, it hasn't been like, well, maybe the normal way, you know what I mean? It, it's a little different. It's been a little different of a, of a, of a path, but that actually makes a lot of sense here too. Mm-hmm. Can I, can I, can I say something about the psychosomatic, what sure, you're talking sure, about? Sure, sure. Okay. With, with your son conjunct the GC and with your, I'll go into this more in a, in a little bit, but with that, with the IC conjunct the super GC, I do feel like be very, be very conscious of like, what, you know what I mean? Like if you are thinking that something is wrong and, and you don't, there's no real basis for it. You just, it's one thing if there's a basis for it, but if there's, you don't, you know, I'm talking about this Mm -hmm. type of stuff where it's like, there's not really a basis for this. Why am I like thinking about this or whatever? Um, I would try to kind of remove that from your, you know what I mean? I would try anyway. Um, unless, unless of course you feel like, even if there's no basis for it, unless you feel like, cause you mentioned channeling, right. And like there, there, it, there is like a, an ability, it seems like with, with GC contacts to be able to receive things, unless you feel like you're being given some sort of information about something that you need to know about for like the future. Mm-hmm. Do you ever feel like that? Oh, uh, in matters of health. Yes, specifically. Oh, it could be. I mean, I, I don't know. It could be. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't I, know. When you, when you have those kinds of thoughts, sorry to kind of harp on this, but I do think it's interesting. Right. When you have these kinds of thoughts, does it feel like they come from you or does it feel like they come from something outside? I think it would come from something. Um, I, it might be something outside. I, I, I want to say outside of myself. So, yes. If it's something outside, if you think it's something outside of you, I guess maybe that's the most important thing is learning to discern which one it is. Cause I feel like if it's something outside of you, it might be important to take, not to focus on it, but like to take note of it. Yeah. Um, and if it's something, if it's, if it's just within you, maybe that's more of like, a, I don't know, maybe it's, it's more of a, just 
a worry than actually, you, do you know what I mean? Yep. Maybe. Well, it was times where I used to go to the doctors and I used to, oh, you know, when you go and you're like, I think I got this going on. I think that, like, I'm feeling, <laughs> feeling my skin jump. And they're like, well, there's nothing wrong with you, man. I'm like, I, 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 don't tell me something that wrong with me. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I know there's something going on. Yeah, no, I, yeah. I definitely do. Um, yes, I've definitely had that. But that happened a few times. <laughs> like, really? I'm not yeah. fucked. There's nothing wrong with me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do understand. Mm -hmm. yeah. But I think um, um, in matters of the North Node um, health issues, if I do have something, usually I know how to solve it. I, I just, I just know. So yeah. Well, that's awesome that you just kind of intuitively know mm -hmm. how. That's cool. That's very. Not everybody is that, is that lucky. So that's very cool that it just kind of yeah. Um. Okay. What about the North Node? Okay, so this question was kind of long, and I don't actually know if it makes it'll make that much. Did it make sense? Oh, uh, as far as what? Well, okay, so the question here with the North. <laughs> sorry, yeah, I could just read it. Um, <laughs> uh, with the North Node conjunct the GC and the South Node conjunct the anti center. And just for reference for everybody watching, the North Node is at 21 degrees, 31 minutes Sagittarius, and the South Node is at 21 degrees, 31 minutes of Gemini um, in the 12th house. <clears throat> okay. Do you ever feel kind of con confused? I have confused in quotes, uh, by your mission in this lifetime per the North node and even where you come from in a past life sense is in parentheses. <laughs> um, are there periods where that South node gets shocked, perhaps making it clear where you have been in a, both this lifetime and a previous lifetime context. And this kind of lights the way for your path forward this time around. That sounds weird. The more that I <laughs> read that out loud, I hope that makes sense. I hope what well, I was trying to It do. makes absolute sense. And I do agree with that. Um, I feel like um, I, I am the black sheep in the family. You know, I come from the black culture and this stuff. I mean, it's just, it's weird to the black culture. Is it? And they're afraid of it. You know, they're afraid of this stuff. Honestly, they really are. And, really? And, Yes, um, it's foreign, and so um, I've always been some. I always been a kid that just was kind of different. Um, uh, I thought about that when you had when I read that, and I had. I, I felt like I did the interview already, to be honest. <laughs> it's like I was rehearsing my lines, but um, <laughs> when I was younger, um, I don't know. Maybe you can agree with this. Um, I used to have moments that I remembered where I used to kind of just. Um, be doing whatever, watching TV, playing around with my brothers. And all of a sudden, it was like time kind of froze and time lapsed. And I'm like, this isn't real. This television isn't real. These huh. people, you know, these are my family members, but they're, they're not here for a good period of my life. And it was like a matrix type of thing. And I used to have that all the time. And I never wondered what, when I, when I had that happen, I'm like, what is that? What's going on with that? It's like I had some sort of um, understanding of beyond this third dimension. So, yeah. I almost wonder if that could be like some of the shocking. Yeah, I would say so. Yeah. And I mean, time lapse, like it, it would happen random moments. Like I'd be playing, I could be playing, and then all of a sudden it just hit me. And I was like eight, eight, probably nine when this used to happen all the time. But I just pushed it out because I didn't understand it afterwards when I snapped back. So yeah. How long do you think those periods were? Oh, uh, I would say probably like three minutes. You know, to me, okay. it felt like three minutes. I zoned out and just looked around. I was just like, oh, okay, this isn't real. I know this reality isn't real. I'm only here just for a little while, and it was weird. I can't even explain it until I heard somebody else mention. I was like, I used to have the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, it's like I'm not alone. Yeah, I had somebody mention. I was like, I thought I was the only one that did that. Like, it was, yeah, yeah. That, and it was always random. Nothing ever. There never seemed to be a common thread triggering it. Oh uh, no, random. Just watching TV and just it's like I phased out. And I just remember that used to happen a lot when I was younger, and I just couldn't put a name to it, or I just didn't have any understanding of it. So yeah, because that's shocking that this sounds like this this could be is something that like i uh i i don't quite know exactly i i do like know it happens i just 
maybe it is just totally a random thing. That's been something that I've been curious about. Like, is this just fucking random for people? Is this something that is triggered by things? It could very well be like transits to progressions, um, mm -hmm. all kinds of things. But I, yeah, it, that's, that's very interesting that for you, it was just, it was just random, just random. Yeah. And I could differentiate um, between deja vu and that feeling. Like, I know I had that feeling when I got, not too long ago when I got high. <laughs> and I was like, man, I was just looking at my sister and I was like, this isn't, this is only part time. You know, it was like, I was completely outside of myself. And I'm like, I know that this is my sister, but she's playing a role. This isn't for long. <laughs> and it was like, I haven't felt this feeling in so long. <laughs> the so, idea of playing a role that yeah. is that's kind of what I've always felt like we're all doing like we are mm -hmm. we are who we are right these are our lives but they are like I think that like when we pass on and wherever we go next we kind of maybe sit back and go <laughs> like you know <laughs> <laughs> you know whether we were good or bad yeah. or whatever we, exactly. we get to that role comes off you know what <laughs> exactly exactly yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. That's what I would associate it with. So I think I kind of, I, I guess that's probably why I'm not really afraid of death. You know, I'm afraid of losing friends and family members, of course. But when it comes to myself, I'm like, I'm not afraid. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it might almost, I mean, not that I'm like actively wanting death or anything, but it, but when that time comes, it's almost like there might be like a sense of like, <sighs> like yeah. no more role, <laughs> yeah, you know, or, what, or whatever, yeah. you know. Definitely. Um, okay, so the next one, thing I'm going to ask about is is Chiron. <clears throat> it is retrograde. It is in, for everybody watching, it is retrograde. It is in the second house. It's in Leo, and it is trying. Um, it is trying the GC and the sun and the north node. Um, and for everybody watching, for anybody that isn't familiar, familiar with this part, <laughs> of the of the research i do think the trines are places trines in gc in both leo and in aries i think they're places where um the gc stuff can be translated down to earth brought down to the physical world done something with if you will like i think the trine not that people that even if you don't have a trine see i still think you can do something with it i just think the trines make it easier to actually do something with the gc energy so with chiron there um Okay, here's a question that I wrote. Um, it makes me think that Chiron is the way to bring the GC's energy down to earth. Since Chiron is in Leo, it does seem that there could be some kind of wounding involving how you value your own creative self-expression or something along those lines. It seems like when you value all of the all of the weirdness at the GC and the GC's fucking weird, so there is weirdness there. <laughs> um, uh, it's actually very healing for you to do this. And while this is true for everyone to a certain extent, I think it's incredibly important for you specifically feeling like this can be embraced. I'm also thinking that I'm also, okay, this way. I'm also thinking that with the sun conjunct the North node, you are coming from a previous lifetime where your sense of self wasn't something that you were able to embrace for whatever reason, because, and I say this for everybody watching, because when you've got a planet conjunct the North node, a lot of the time, you know, and you're coming from the South node, a lot of the time that planetary energy conjunct the North node is not familiar to the person. They've got to grow into it. Just like you've got to grow into the North node. Um, like you're uh, coming from a previous lifetime where your sense of self wasn't something that you were able to embrace for whatever re reason. I also think this fits because when I see Chiron RX in a natal chart, I automatically think of Chiron's wounding as stemming from a previous lifetime that is carried over and rewounded in this lifetime. How do you feel about that? <laughs> Uh, I agree. I do agree. Um, and I, I honestly feel like the GC has actually helped, is helping me to, it's trying to tell me, you know, you really have to embody the individuality. Um, and uh, with Chiron and Leo, Leo, um, it's a significant part for me because I felt as though like I, I'm extremely creative. I was always into music and just finding different ways to express myself, writing. And also I started recently uh, writing out comedy scripts. So cool. the interesting part about that is I always played the background guy and I help other people do those things and embrace that and step up to the plate. But I always felt like I couldn't do that myself and embrace that. Um, 
with my GC, um, I am a reader and I've been reading uh, people oh, probably since 2012. That's kind of when I woke up and I went, um, I took classes of, uh, uh, as far as mediumship classes, intuitive Ooh. classes, and I've been doing it since 2012 and still am. Like this year, I started doing it more frequently, which is why I feel like GC is really strong for me this year. Mm -hmm. I'm going through my Saturn return. Um, but I read for over 100 people for free. And now I just was doing it because I wanted to get practice and I wanted yeah. to do that. But everybody was saying, man, you're so good. I started teaching people how to do it. I'm like, you can do exactly what I'm doing, no different. They're like, no, nah, I don't think so. I'm like, look, watch. And they started doing it and they were like, wow, you're a good teacher. You should be a teacher, man. You should be a yeah. teacher. And I felt like <clears throat> that's what the Chiron and Leo was kind of doing. Like when I'm kind of empowering people, I helped a friend um, who I was working with um, in astrology. Uh, we started talking to each other, like teaching each other about different placements and learning together to the point where she ended up being an astrologer. She has a business going. She's like, I would never do this had I not met you, man. I'm like, really? Really? I was like, yeah. So I feel like a little bit that's kind of, I guess. Oh. No, no. It, it, okay, let me ask you this. Because <clears throat> you're embracing these different things, like, right? Like things that you said, like growing up, nobody really, it was, it, this wasn't stuff that was really talked about in your family and in your, in your culture, you know, it just, it just, it just wasn't. So there is a dip, right? Like there's a, there's a difference there and actually being able to like embrace this part of you. Do you feel like not only does it heal other people because Chiron is big on healing others, right? In the same ways that we perhaps have felt wounded. Um, do you feel like it does actually help heal? Like being able to feel like you can express yourself and things, you, you know what I mean? Like when you do this, yes, like, you, I like you, I'm a little bit more out of the background, perhaps. Oh, yeah. Uh, 100%. I actually feel like um, it's funny because I told uh, a friend of mine, I said, you know, I think the reason why I did all of those reads for free and I couldn't stop, I said, because I was healing myself at the same time yeah. and not really realizing that, you know, I became confident. And I think that's part of the reason the Chiron and Leo, you know, I became confident, started to gain confidence uh, because of the GC. Um, and what I was learning through metaphysics and how the energy was hitting me, I learned a lot. Uh, <laughs> I think and, that's yeah. I think that's awesome. When you it, when you do, I've got to ask when you do. Go ahead, yeah. What is the mediumship like? I've always been curious. I, I, that's not something I don't think I can really. I've never really been able to do it. I probably could, but I, you know, what is that like? In my opinion, I always say I, I'm, I'm a terrible ass medium. I'm a good ass dev and two hundred free though. Uh, when it comes to mediumship, it's something new to me. And my teacher that I've been working with, it's been like a year and a half. And so I have moments where, you know, I'm like, God, I did bad. I did bad this class. I was doing good the last one. I did bad. And I remember it was one, because I'm learning. This is why I like this, um, because I, I have a teacher, and I like to compare uh, astrological charts and do the synastry. And my teacher is uh, Aries. Now, I have Aries in my mid heaven. And so she is a good teacher. Out of all the teachers I had, it's more so, forget technique, we're going to work on you being confident. We're going to work on you just saying, okay, I can do this. I'm ready. I don't need, you don't need all that other stuff. And so it's been more so, it's, it's really been a, um, a growth experience rather than when I learned from all the other teachers. And so uh, with the mediumship, sometimes, it's like, damn, I didn't do anything. And I remember it was one class that I was prepared to fail. And so uh, I was reading this one person and I'm like, uh, I'm just sitting there like, oh God, I'm like terrible. I'm like, I got a brother and his name is Michael. And he came off like scrappy dude. She starts crying. I'm like, what? wait a minute, I'm getting something. I'm getting something. And then <laughs> it just started flowing. Like, and so I'm learning, even though I'm wrong sometimes with it, I'm starting to kind of recognize different patterns when I'm wrong, why I'm wrong, feel when I'm wrong so I can change a little bit. And it's, yeah, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Do you see, <clears throat> do you get like, okay, does it ever, does it come, does it come to you in like straight words or does it come to you in like pictures? I'm a feeling person. So okay. sometimes it can just be, um, uh, it can, it can be like, oh, uh, say for instance, um, 
and this is kind of a little bit into the GC because I felt like I had, sh- I, sh- I feel like the GC like really fucked me up a lot at, at times, but it's for a reason because when I'm reading somebody, I get that memory and I'm like, I know exactly, I know your whole, I know the whole entire story. Um, so I, I remember I read somebody and it was funny because I was sitting there reading them and a friend sent him and it was a guy. And so I'm like, I want to say this so bad as well. I started saying a lot of stuff. I'm like, I want to say this so bad. I'm like, but I'm going to wait until afterwards. And I was like, you know what? Fuck it. Man, you're a Sagittarius, aren't you? And he's like, yeah, yeah, I'm a Sagittarius. I'm like, <laughs> okay, okay. So I'm like, oh, um, okay. So what is this with, um, I'm about to speak this up. So I'm like, what is this with this uh, attention issue? And so he was like, no, I don't need attention. I'm like, I don't know why I'm getting that. So I asked him for his birth chart and seeing he had a moon in the fifth house and he had his north node in the 12th house, his south node in the sixth house. So it was the same energy between me and him. And I'm like, look, okay, you got this going on, this, 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 this. And he's like, yeah, how'd you know? I'm like, man, look, I know the whole story. This is me. This is- <laughs> I know the whole story. I'm like, we're both fucked up. And so he started laughing. Um, but it can happen like that, you know, when it comes to doing a readings and I'm learning over time just to recognize certain patterns. So, but it's feeling mainly knowing and feeling. So, yeah. That's cool. I've always, uh, yeah, that, that's cool. That it's just kind of 